morning. This is Critters, Angela. One of these days I may show my face, but personally I don't think today is the day. Um, I don't feel like breaking my camera lens. Hey, Betty Sue. Uh, I've decided that since my entire week last week was devoted to um, Lady A-Hole, or whatever you want to call her, from the text messages from her husband, ha ha, from the prayers that I was constantly lifting her up into the Lord. She has monopolized my mind, my energy. I've neglected my housework, my husband, just to be there for her 2 a.m. call. I'm going to die, Buck. I'm not going to see my son go to space camp. Excuse me. I'm not going to see my son go to space. He's already been to space camp um, four times, and he just turned 13. I don't think so. My kids went to sp uh, space camp, both of them. They didn't go four times. But I've made a decision that I'm going to try to figure out how to, like, screenshot all of the text from last week, and then I'm going to do another video, and I'm going to do like Go Lightly did the day that she showed all those texts that um, supposedly, you know, were sent by the lady in question. But I want you to know the extent of how deep she took this with me. I would get these frantic texts from her husband saying, I'm losing her. How am I going to tell our son that she's dying? And then I would get these texts like, I just have to ask you, does she deserve any of this hate? And I would write like a book to him, telling him all the lies that I had been told by her about Mandy Marie, about Blue Topaz, about all of these wonderful women that I now have in my life that I thought were the devil incarnate. Well, no, I was a moderator for the devil. She manipulated all of us, not just me. Everyone, please quit telling me it's gonna, it's okay. I'm not the only one that's a victim here. When I watched Being There's video, I cried for hours. I shared it with everyone that I knew their um, phone number. How many other being theirs are out there? How many other hurting people that don't have the courage or the stamina to go online and tell how much she hurt them? And she keeps saying that Glee's gal's the only one that she really owes any money to, that um, the most donations she got was the night that we were cutting up laughing in the car, the hussy night. You weren't that funny. You weren't being donated to because of your entertainment honey you were being donated to because of your um cancer you really think people like kim lowry were going to keep giving you 24.99 because you smiled i kim lowry hasn't said a word about how much money she's owed but I saw more than once her come across the screen at twenty four ninety nine. So you can continue your lies. You can tell everyone that you don't get your money till February twenty fourth. I know you got your money Thursday of last week on the twenty fourth. I know that because you told me and you forgot that I knew that. So continue your lies, witch. But get off of YouTube. Quit saying, this is my last video. This is going to be my last video. I've been hearing that for three months. I commented somewhere yesterday, if I had a penny or a dime for every time I heard you say, this is my last video, I would be rich. We all would be. Make it your last video. Go find another community in YouTube. Who knows how many communities you've done this to? Have you done it to the crafting community? Have you done it to a cooking community? 
And this time you chose the crime community because the Chris Watts case was so relevant. You did your research well. I hope the woman whose degrees that you claim is your own, I hope she finds out you've been claiming to be her a frickin' pharmacy tech. My daughter was a pharmacy tech in high school and in college. Minimum wage job. Yeah, you know a little bit about medicine. So does my kid. So do we all. You didn't know enough, though, about stem cell. That's how you lost your followers, woman. The big stem cell lie of the century? Oh, please. Never in a million years can three people be tested on Tuesday and then one person finds out that he is a match and that person donates on Tuesday and goes home on Tuesday. Honey, you aren't that bright to have pulled off that lie because it didn't work. And your big mistake with me was when I continued to get text from your husband supposedly Throughout the day, at all times of the day. Yet your husband had been home to take a shower, he said in a text to me. So if he went home and took a shower, why was he not bringing his phone back? The phone he said he forgot when y'all ran out the door because you were having a heart attack, stroke, combination, crazy attack, whatever the hell you had. But woman, I'm mad now. And I want my money back, too. And you know what? I want money back for all of the hours and hours that you kept me awake in the middle of the night whining about, I'm lonely, the pain is so bad, bug. It's burning me from the inside out. I'm on fire. Well, you know what? I have RSD, complex regional pain syndrome, and all of this shit with you all of this has made me have the worst episode flare up that i've had in years it's aggravated by stress and nervousness because it's a nerve ending disorder tiffany as you know has a terrible autoimmune disease and a severed spinal cord did you ever think what you were doing to her nervous system that poor girl has had to take medication for the first time in a year for her pain, Stacy has cried for days. People loved you, and you're sitting back gloating because you finally got what you wanted, a full chat room with hun- a couple hundred people and attention. I hope you lose your son. I hope your son is taken by your husband far away from you. What you did to him yesterday broke my heart. I don't understand anyone saying things like that and having their child repeat, Mommy is sick. She is sick. You don't do that. My 13-year-old son would have thought I was insane. He would have been saying, Mom, why are you making me read this, Mom? Um, He would have been questioning me. I feel like you have your son programmed. And it's so sad that you are using and manipulating a child just like you used and manipulated your followers on YouTube. And I want to thank Mandy Marie and Blue Topaz and Applesauce and all the people that we mods were rude to. That's not who any of us are. I've talked to Every one of her mods, they're lovely people. They're wonderful ladies. They're giving and loving. But we were told so many lies that we believed that Mandy Marie had like five screen names and that she was coming in chat rooms and actually answering herself. I mean, I can't tell you what we were told by her and how her husband tracked all these IP addresses and how... Blue Topaz doesn't really live in Australia, but lives in Texas and is Mandy Marie. And I love this woman, and I believed her. I know I'm naive, but I did believe her. And um, forgive me, God, for falling into the trap of a fool, but I wasn't the only one that believed her, and hopefully 
God, I'll be the last. Please, God, don't let this woman do this to another community in YouTube. God only knows how many people she's hurt prior to this. What really shocked me Saturday night was that a woman that seemed like she knew her personally made a comment on um, her community page and actually called her by her first name. And I thought, oh, my God, she really does know this woman. She called her by her first name. And this lady said that she was going to tell the truth about Lady A-Hole if she did not fess up, that she knew everything about her. And I got the distinct impression that this woman actually knows her personally. And I went back um, later, and her comment was deleted, unfortunately. But she called her Lisa, and it made me feel that that really is the name that she goes by where she lives. But I think she needs help both mentally and physically because I am sure she's addicted to some type of medication. I'm not sure if it's muscle relaxers or methadone, but there's something that she's taking that is a very strong downer. Heck, it could be a doggy down that she buys off the street. I personally think that she monetized so that she could buy drugs. I really do. I have a brother that's an addict. He will tell any lie. Well, he's in recovery now, excuse me. But he would tell any lie, make up any story to get money. I would tell him that if he would write a book of all of his excuses, he'd be rich. And he would quit having to make up all the stories. And like Michelle, excuses, excuses. She is still not admitting that she is a fraud. I want my money back. I want money back, too, for the therapy that I gave her. I ignored my husband. I didn't eat a meal with him for two months because I was sitting by my phone looking to see if she was going live so I could protect her from her enemies. I mean, for God's sakes. I... I'm, I'm, I'm forgiving myself for being a fool. And my husband begged me Sunday to not get my heart hardened because of this, because he said one of the things that he loves about me is that I'm a loving and generous person, and I don't feel so loving and, and generous right now. I'm sorry. I feel like somebody that's been made a fool of. But anyway, this isn't about me. I'm sorry, it's not. It's about her and about the people that she's hurt. And she's got to stop this nonsense. And every one of you that has a channel that has videos up on it, you're considered a real YouTuber, a creator. You can go into where you report. And don't just check report, this is harassment or this is hate. Go into the words. There's a paragraph below. And there's some little blue highlighted words. If you click there, that's where you make the real report, like Makeup Mobster did, the one that she showed. And it does take a while to fill out. You do have to put your personal information on it. But those reports are what will get her taken off YouTube. Just a simple click the three little buttons, hit report, and say it's hate-filled speech or whatever is not going to do it. Everyone with a channel must file a formal complaint, and it might take you 20 minutes, but to me, it's worth it, and I'm planning to do mine today. I'm sorry that I'm screaming. I don't mean to scream. I'm, I'm just very mad. But anyway, love all of you, and thank you for your comments. I'm going to leave that video up, even though I sound like a fool crying for the woman that an hour later, you know, I read the email about the real truth about her. But I don't want to delete all of your beautiful comments. And if I delete the video, your comments are deleted also. So anyway, have a nice Tuesday. And um, God bless all of you and everyone. It's so wonderful that people have come together and that we've made so many friends. And I hope that you know, we maintain these friendships. 
aisle, so I'm rather lonely. I live in the middle of nowhere. I'm in chronic pain, and I don't leave the house very often. And it's like having a group of friends when um, we all get together in a chat room. It's just so much fun. And to me, that's what YouTube is meant to be, a community of people lifting each other up that have common interest and likes. But thank you for listening. I'm sorry I made such a long video. I may even delete it after I listen to it. I may be rambling on, and I do apologize for that. Stress does things like that to people. But have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.